High Court takes up retired officials reappointment issue for hearing. Enforcement director has become a political tool, says Nagaland Congress. Parent CSOs write to Nagaland CM over inter-district boundary demarcation. India records 12,213 new cases of COVID-19. Indian origin doctor sentenced to four years jail for raping woman. News in details. High Court takes up retired officials' reappointment issue for hearing. The issue of reappointment of a retired government officer to the post of principal secretary in the Nagaland Assembly Secretariat was taken up for hearing by the Koima bench of Guwahati High Court on Wednesday. The Nagaland Assembly Secretariat Staff Association has filed the petition against the extension of service of Dr. P.J. Anthony. The court has fixed the next hearing for June 21, NASSA Vice President Brockers Rhino said. Anthony was appointed as Secretary of NLA Secretariat on deputation from the Lok Sapha Secretariat on January 2, 2020. He retired from regular service on May 31, 2020. However, he was reappointed by the state government with the approval of cabinet as commissioner and secretariat by upgrading the cater post of secretary for two years with effect from 1-6-2020 to 31-5-2022 to head the administration of the NLA secretariat. Enforcement Directorate has become a political tool, says Nagaland Congress. As the Enforcement Directorate continues to grill Congress MP Rahul Gandhi in the National Herald case, the Nagaland Pradesh Congress Committee on Wednesday expressed anguish and condemned the BJP-led NDA government for the continued attacks on its leader by using government agencies. Addressing a press conference at Congress Bhavan in Dimapur, NPCC President K. Thiri claimed that the ED had become a political tool questioning and trying to find fault with the opposition leaders but not applying the same yardstick to BJP leaders. We have lost democracy and this is not the way we expect of justice and equality, wherein every citizen has the right to live and right to voice for the people, he said, adding that the party wants the people to understand that the centre is using the government agencies against citizens and terming it as legal terror and fascism. Parent CSOs write to Nagaland CM over inter-district boundary demarcation. Parent District Civil Society Organization and landowners said that the inter-district boundary demarcation between Parent District and then Dimapur, now Chumukuduma, is long overdue since the bifurcation from the undivided Koima District. In a joint statement addressed to the Chief Minister of Nagaland, leaders of at least 10 organizations stated that the efforts of state government is setting up Izum Committee in 2003 and the Cabinet Subcommittee in 2019 to settle the boundary demarcation lacks sincerity and political will as political maneuvering overrode facts and realities. India records 12,213 new cases of COVID-19. India on Thursday reported 12,213 new cases and 7,624 recoveries in the last 24 hours. This is the highest rise in past 109 days since February 26. The total number of active cases in the country stands at 58,215. The daily positivity rate stands at 2.35%. The rise can be attributed to the spike in COVID-19 cases in the state of Maharashtra, Kerala, Delhi, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka among others. Indian origin doctor sentenced to four years jail for raping woman. In a major ruling, a court in Britain on Wednesday sentenced an Indian origin doctor to four years jail term for sexually assaulting a woman he met on a dating platform Tinder. The convict has been identified as 39-year-old Manish Gill. A Scottish court found Manish Gill guilty of serious sexual assault charges against a woman over three years ago. He was convicted at the High Court in Edinburgh in May. Manish, who is a general practitioner, reportedly posed as Mike on online dating app Tinder. He later met the woman at a hotel in Stirling where he reportedly raped the woman in December 2018, according to a report in PTI. That's all for now. To get the latest news, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.